I have received a possible emergency FEMA Region 3 alert. FEMA Region 3 consists of Washington, D.C., Delaware, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia. This alert was sent to us by Senator Sheldon R. Songstadt, retired of South Dakota State. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Well, here is what the Senator's national preparedness research turned up. FEMA purchase orders for over 14.2 million for MREs and heater meals to be delivered to Region 3 by October 1st. FEMA purchase orders for 2 million pouches of emergency water to be delivered to FEMA Region 3 by October 1st. FEMA purchase orders for $13.6 million for MREs and heater meals to be delivered to Austin by October 1st. Nine-week training course for UN peacekeepers in CONUS to learn urban warfare. They're learning urban warfare and they need to learn English and U.S. weapons systems. We're having foreign soldiers learn our U.S. weapons systems. This has been going on since the fourth week of July for 386,000 troops to be completed by October 1st. $11 million in antibiotics to be delivered to FEMA Region 3 by October 1st, ordered by the CDC. The World Health Organization held their second emergency meeting in its history. The second meeting in its entire history to discuss MERS coronavirus. Determined a vaccine must be in place by October 1st. 2,800 MRAPs must be delivered to DHS by October 1st. No leave will be allowed for U.S. military from September 28th through November 5th. NORCOM yearly training for civil unrest is to be suspended until September 27th to be performed in northeast coastal areas. Date for release of QE3 report is to be moved to October 16th. All DHS agents must qualify with sidearm, shotgun, and AR-15 by September 28th. No mention of yearly less lethal qualification. The sporadic testing of GPS and communication satellites is coordinated for the very first time ever with a testing date of September 29th. POTUS mandates to FEMA and DHS concerning support for metropolitan communities dealing with the extreme climate change must be complete by October 1st. These mandates were issued during the last three weeks. Over 300 school systems in the U.S. have determined their three-day kits for each school and three-day kits for each student to take with them. All deliveries are scheduled for the month of September. All National Guard units will complete riot control and disaster assistance training during this year's annual two-week training. All units must have their training complete by September 30th. Daily testing of emergency broadcast system to begin on September 25th and run through October 2nd. Eastern-based Coast Guard units to perform massive group training, usually performed in the Gulf, in the Virginia and Delaware areas. This is a 10-day training mission to begin September 26th. God, please help America. Sheldon R. Songstadt, Senator Retired, South Dakota State. I echo your sentiments. 
I echo your sentiments, Senator Songstadt. God help America. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Thank you for watching, and God bless you.